Okay. Go to Hello World. This is a very weird scenario. Like, they're doing a good job, but things are a bit concerning. And now we go back to Hello World. Are we going to get a fighting medium? Have money. Hmm? All right. Hmm? It doesn't matter if you want to work there. I can't just invent jobs. Especially not some like Castle. That fancy your retirement home is best in class staff. They wouldn't even post openings through Hello Work. So you're saying you can't get jobs there. Sorry, but no. Damn. Well, I can't get you directly in Plymouth Summit Castle, but there is might be a, a contractors. Hmm? So. It doesn't do a whole lot of menial jobs. The kids are, are employees, but they go through a temp agency for the rest. As an agency exclusive for caretakers, wow. if I get on that list, I'll be able to do go to Sun Lake Castle. Not even countries are going in if they have all the zero experience. The rules of Cossack, um, of course. Unless you're hiding caretaker work. Man, don't get my hopes up like that. Oh, freak. That's true. Huh? Me? He's a nurse. That's the kind of experience they're looking for. You, you can get a sunlight castle pretty easily. <laughs> Since I used to work with the police, then how about this? Hey, you got an idea? You can lower your police experience. A security guard post might be in shoe win. I can introduce you to the company that su runs like this. Is yeah. I got this. Wait a second. I'm the one who's up the cold. Hmm. You're an ex Yakuza, so. Well. Oh, what about this? So we are gonna go undercover there? What the freak am I gonna do? So many old people. Hey, Sunny. Don't recall seeing you around. Are you new? Yeah, I'm from a temp agency. Name's Nanda. <sighs> How nice to have a new doctor. Wonderful. Actually, I'm a nursing assistant. Then just temporarily. You say you do physical therapy? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, listen, Granny. Let me ask you. Well, there's a guy living here named Lakota. You know him by any chance? He's pretty old. Has a daughter. Oh, what time <coughs> are we having breakfast? Um, well, it's already past noon. Oh, here is fine. Thank you, officer. Hey, did you find anything out? Nope. I haven't seen any guys who were likely to be Nanoha's dad. I gotta say. The care in this place actually seems pretty damn good. There's plenty of staff. The medical equipment is top-notch. Uh, they've got a security system and guards, too. They ain't skimping on safety. How many times do I have to tell you? I want these toilets so clean you'd let your mother drink out of them. Uh-oh. Put some elbow grease into it, for goodness sake. Stop slacking off. No. Uh why am I the only one on toilet duty? <laughs> Why do you think? Well, you're not qualified to do anything else. Did you find her dad? Nah, not even a lead. You find anything? The only thing I've seen all morning is toilets. That woman's a slave driver. Maybe her dad's in a special room for the excellent course residents. Oh yeah, that crazy expensive program. Doubtful. I found out more about that program. It has super strict requirements. I don't think she would have met them. For example, you have to do a bunch of interviews to qualify. Interviews? Yeah, I don't know exactly what they ask, but I bet it's all about your family and social standing. And rumor has it, the program only lets in big shots from the financial sector. So, even if she had the money, I don't think she would pass the interviews. Still, none of us have seen this special room yet, right? 
<sighs> no, because how are we supposed to do that? Well, obviously, they're going to have their best security on the Excellent Course residents. I heard only full-time staff are allowed to work with that clientele. But where the hell are those residents kept? Top floor. And to get up there, you need one of the full-timers' key cards. Hey! Quit chatting and get back to work! <laughs> yes, ma'am. Right away. Poor Ishavan. Good work. Bet you didn't know toilet cleaning could take up a whole day, did you? So many toilets. That's what you need in a place this big. Do I get paid? You're gonna have to pick up the pace tomorrow. We're going the wrong way. We still need to do the top floor, don't we? That floor is for excellent course residents. It's, uh... Off limits to us contractors. No. We tried. Oh damn it! I, I think I forgot something in the bathroom. Mind if I go get it? Fine, but get it together. You're a mess. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can go on ahead and I'll catch up, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up. You should want you taking a risk here. Security route to the right. <laughs> no need to be scared, man. Just relax. They do kill him here. I was right. It'll be over soon. Good night now. them figure out a game plan that's what you need to do each of on sorry to quit your last time again I just said it that's what I do holy freaking cow hey guys okay <laughs> yeah okay. whatever wait where's not about Still working. I guess wasn't expecting you guys to take this job so seriously. That said, we gotta find some information or pretty per pretty soon. Yeah, this is some weird at the excellent room, though. So. Huh? You got up there? What's that? What was weird? Hey guys, the tire could just die right now. Well, just saying he caught up with something suspicious. Can you put off the dying for a few more minutes? Hold on. I can't. I know I'm ba being a baby, but can we save it till tomorrow? I'm tired. Of Come in early tomorrow. This old woman just passed away, so I had to do all the crazy stuff. What was that? What? What is it? Was that the woman with the purple hair? Yeah. How'd you know? It's crazy even think about this, but it has to be. The woman was killed in the excellent room. What? You're sure? I didn't see it happen, but that has to be it. Why would they kill their own customer? A death just means more no more income, doesn't it? No. Not necessarily. You could scam their pension payments, for instance. Hmm? Pension? Yeah, someone old dies, you don't report the death, just keeps going on with your life. You hide the body somewhere, and the dead's persona's pension for medical insurance payments keep rolling in. 
You're saying the institution is stealing money, but they can, can they do that? Yo. Look at this. I checked it out. There's a safe in the back of the security room that has all the residents' bank books and seals on it. But the residents, I'm sure it's peace of mind to know they're kept under a lock and key. Mm. But if they have the stuff on hand, it's easy to keep the money. If someone does, it frees up the room for the next sucker. If a patient dies, they increase profits. What? I recognize those two. These guys are from the security company. How do you know them? They're both Yakuza from the family that runs this place. What? Hmm? That means they're the clan? Yep. You're different. A lot of the family serving this in your clan. I know that because they used to come by and harass my girls all the time. But uh, four years ago, they got their hands into another business and another family took over my place. Security guys are front before, but I've never heard of them actually being on the site themselves. Mm. Wait. What if Sully Castle itself is the clan's business? In that case, it would make perfect sense for them to stay in pension. Hey. I said we're doing this whole pension scheme. Wouldn't it mean Nano's dad is long dead? <sighs> no. no. Still up. How do you know? Remember what Nano said when she gave the guy two million yen? You mean we were eavesdropping on her with her friend? Yeah. The guy who took the money said something along the lines of. Three million left to go then. If you just remit that amount, ten days from now, we can start to carry out the procedure. Piecing that together, I think that means there's three million yen left. And she has ten days more to carry out the procedure or whatever. Uh -oh. Wait. That would mean if she doesn't pay the three million in ten days, they'll execute her father. For real? Yeah, they're probably saying if she doesn't want him to die, then she needs to pay up. I see. It's her dad's a hostage. She's gotta be able to take this to the cop. You think? The police is Yakuza up front. They probably already got terms with the police. It's pay up or he dies. I think I'll go the other way. Pay up, we just pay payments for you. It's unthinkable. Damn. Hold on. Hey, hold on. How many days ago did you hear that conversation? Oh, ten. Hunch is right. He's gonna be killed tomorrow? Three million, no way she can scrape the county station now. Oh. I'd like to if I could, but this kind of money I just don't have lying around. Hey, these are, these are Yakuza. They could double cross you in a heartbeat. Well, it's down to the wire. We save him, no matter what it takes. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Wait a minute, we're gonna go attack them? I beg of you, it's <laughs> cool. They want to save, I expect a full house about it. Sure. You got it. It's big. Somebody cost him. If they fill the house, everybody gets a bonus. If we get the bonus, everyone from the ladies and the staff goes home happy. Well, let's go ahead and raise about 3,000 yen. What? We're well, raising for 3,000? I always have to ready for you when you get back here, so you better come back alive. We're not doing it for the 3K, not, but we're going for the. Oh my god, am I not gonna be able to save? Like, this is getting frustrating. Let's get some rest. Hey. Hey, you wanna make a quick side trip on the way? Where? A place I used to frequent in the bar district. You can drink and sing karaoke. Oh no! Bar's gonna be messy. Might not get one back and ready for possible way. Who's buying though? I told you. <laughs> I go there a lot. I'm sure I can just add to my tab. Come on, just one drink. <sighs> All right, fine, but don't get wasted on us. I know, I know. Are we gonna do the karaoke mini game that I have heard so much about? Well. We don't have to tonight. Guys, next time. On. What the hell there? Hand it over already. Huh? What's going on? I'm saying hand over the baby formula. You looking to lose some teeth? No, please. My baby's waiting. Like I give a shit. Just buy the little snot more. We need that formula right now. What? This is, this is absurd. Why would the Yakuza need baby formula? They're shaking the guy down for baby formula. Another so I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it looks like he might need some help. He needs a hero. All right. Guess I'll give him a hand. Hey, not sure what the deal is over here? That formula's his, right? Huh? Who the hell are you? You his buddy or something? Nah, never met the guy. Just passing through. Someone's always gotta poke their nose into this shit. Okay, fine. We'll take it by force. You're gonna fight me. Okay. Oh, they're to ew, you are a high level. I don't like that. Oh. 
I no longer care. That was way too easy. Free, two grand for free? We need that in our lives. We haven't got paid for those jobs yet, though. Fuck. Good. Don't forget it. Phew, glad it's there. Yo. You know, got Hi. Thank you. You didn't even... Hey, what's wrong with you? Don't get crying on me. Sorry for breaking down like that. It's been a while since someone's been so kind of me. It really hits home. Don't sweat it. I'm Kasuga. Arigatou gozaimasu. Wish you were there for saving me. Nah. What's about you leaving hanging? I'll give you a little something. Thanks, but I was baby formula. Hmm? Baby formula? Is that for your kid? Eh. Yeah, I'm a newly minted father for son. He's a cute little guy, too, but there's some sort of things you need to have a kid, so I figured I should start saving up for the future. So I'm working my butt off day and night. Yeah? Well, I'm single, so you don't know about that. So don't overwork yourself. You might be make you dead. My wife would never say something like that. Your wife? Mm. Yeah, she's been pretty cold to me lately. I come over a long trip and she wanted to say hi. That's like postpartum depression. It really sounds like postpartum depression. I just want to fuse. <sighs> I don't understand. We used to be in sync with her because they're a kid. I just want my son to be happy. So I think you need some advice. It's important to work hard, but has your wife ever said she wants you to do that? Hmm? No, I guess you're not. You still have the money, right? Yeah, of course. I imagine having her baby's pretty tough, but then the whole future's in your hands, but you can't understand what you're saying yet. Sure, it could work be tough, but I'll bet there's some kind of emotional struggle going on, too. Yeah, being a parent's a huge responsibility. Shouldering responsibility by yourself, my problem. The saga gods it. Hmm? Ooh, my kindness went out. What's that for me? Just like that, you have advice for yourself. You're really something. For a single guy, you know a lot about parents. <laughs> yeah, I never had parents. I was born in a massage parlor, so I was raised by the staff there. You gotta order whatever people take care of me, you know? Change diapers, whatever. Thanks for that. Okay. Yep. Mm. That one scares me. <laughs> you hear that? Who could it be? Playing from in there? You think it's just like you? There's no way. Mm. Bringing a child in a place without the proper care and dangerous? Hell. Mm. Sure, but. Good point. No. Oh. That means we're gonna need some hot water. Oh, what's the water closest level? We might even get to wash the baby. You know, the water. What is going on? So do I. What, what just happened? Huh? I'm so confused. Alright, seriously. I'm saving here. Next time on this ridiculous game, we're gonna go do something ridiculous. I'll see you then.